Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request today, um, pray for Deidre's father. He's in the hospital with diverticulitis and some other issues. Pray that he'll be okay. Joy will be having uh, six bottom teeth pulled on May 14th. Uh, to make a partial denture. She's already very nervous. Pray for comfort and peace for her. Uh, Kathleen will be getting a CT scan done on May 7th to see if she still has cancer or not. Pray that uh, she'll be cancer free. Baby Eli has a new doctor. They have him sedated and are running tests. Pray that they can help him. Steph woke up and needs prayers for healing. Continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie and her son Michael. Continued prayers for Jackie for the pain in her side. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh-oh. I'm about to lose my place. Okay, our scripture today comes from John 3, 10 through 17. Okay, um, this is Jesus speaking um, all the way through uh, 15, and then it's through 17. Okay, you are Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and do you not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen, but still you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except for the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Amen. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, A Creator We Can Trust. The monster in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is one of the most widely known literary characters captivating our cultural imagination. But close readers of the beloved novel know that a strong case can be made that Shelley actually portrays Victor Frankenstein, the delusional scientist who created the creature, as the real monster. After creating an intelligent creature, Victor denies him any guidance, companionship, or hope of happiness, seemingly guaranteeing the creature's descent into desperation and rage. Confronting Victor, the creature laments, you, my creator, would tear me to pieces and triumph. Scripture reveals how different the true creator of all things is. With unchanging, tireless love for his creation, God didn't create on a whim, but out of love created a beautiful, very good world. And even when humanity turned from him to choose monstrous evil instead, God's commitment to and love for humanity didn't change. As Jesus explained to Nicodemus, God's love for his creation was so great, he was willing to give even what was most dear to him, his one and only son, that the world might be saved. Jesus sacrificed himself, bearing the consequences of our sin, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. We have a creator we can trust with our hearts and lives. How does God's commitment to his creation impact you? How can you respond to his love for you? Dear God, thank you for being a good creator who I can trust. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. 
and I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.